Sunday the 7th of April. We started work on our shed base yesterday. Soil on top is uh, very sloppy, so we've had the tractor out. The tractor's covered in mud. We're sort of just shuttling back the soil. Dave was on the tractor having a bit of fun with that. We're just getting some to ram down, we're getting some stone in. And by the end of today, we're hoping to have a nice, a nice stone base at the right level. You know, we've got to push all the stone in so we can reverse ourselves in and then level it back as we come. And it should be a finished job after that, but uh, it's nice to be starting work on it, actually. We're not going to go flat out all day on it, but we're going to have a, a morning on it. There's a the tractor, look. Covered in mud. I think that might be on the fruit spinner tomorrow. It's been a bit of rain overnight. It's been blowing all weekend. It was drying up lovely, but I don't think it's been a lot, but it's just, oh, it just needs to stop. They love laying outside the old calves. I spend literally 90% of the uh, day out there if it's not raining. Just back in the carving shed. We had uh, number 15 had her calf. She's in at the food at the moment. We all thought, we all thought, you know, she's going to have at least a set of twins because she's enormous, but turns out she didn't. She'll be watching me. I just want to see what her calf is. This is her calf anyway. What was your... Anyway, lovely little car, same sort of markings as her, and she's really, really good man. But, uh, yeah, we thought she might have two in there by the size of her, but it turns out she's just a fatty. So. But uh, we'll get him uh, probably tomorrow, we'll get him shifted across the yard, and uh, yeah, she can go in with the others, all right, girl? But um, one or two, you know, she, this one's going to carve. It's going to be a few days, but, you know, you see her bag's starting to change. You know, ones like this, I'm, you're not sure about. Is she going to carve? Is, you know, I don't know. It's, it's another one, you know. You thought you might see a bit fuller bag by now. I don't think she's going to carve her bag. Uh, her bag is flat as a pancake. You know, this one might. I think she might. I don't think she will. She definitely won't. She might. You know, it's, it's quite tricky to tell at this point, isn't it, Fire? I'm just saying, like, there's some, some with bags that are, you know, like that number 11 will, won't she? She's just starting a spring. Yeah. But there's one or two that are hard to tell, aren't they? Well, that's a hell of a job to tell, man. I, I, she got ready. She couldn't have. Can you see it? Yeah, a little bit. See, I don't think she's in car. No, I wouldn't say she was. She's too, uh, a bit too slender, ain't she? Yes. You know, is she in car, man? That's what I mean. It's a job to tell a car, a cow like that, isn't it? Obviously, she's getting on a fair way, isn't she? She's going to be next. Yeah, you know, she's one of the oldest, I think, now, 242. She's got yeah. the uh, old, she's got a shit, you know. Don't know you nothing now, does she? No. She's got 301, I ain't so sure about her, mate. No. What was the, uh, what was yesterday's calf? Was it steer or heifer? Heifer. Oh, nice. That'll do well. Well, that'd be a keeper on one. Yeah. The, the, but then, what, what the welcome said to me, that uh, last week, he said, to get your carving pack out, don't keep anything that carved light. Right. And that's what he was telling me. He said, if you want to, you know, and I suppose there's logic in it. Yeah. But them stabilizers are forward a bit to what they were because they didn't carve till May. So even yes, she is still forward. April, she's still forward a bit. Yeah. But them others are well forward. Yeah, they, I, I actually, I don't know, mate. I don't know what's in calf and what end. We, we put the bull in. I don't think she's in calf. No. She's plenty young enough, that one, isn't she? This one. You know, is she in calf? I wouldn't have said so. She's an older cat. Yeah. I don't know what a 292 that is. Um, I don't think she's in car. No. She is. 
this channel would have said is, but I've had them before where they look fat as butter and don't produce nothing. Oh, another, another three weeks, mate, and it's going to tell us. Oh, yeah. What I thought was, get this drilling done, get yeah. to first of May, what we got there, having PD, that's what I said. Yes, in. yeah, definitely. And, uh, I don't know what the answer, you know, what, I think the answer is then to get rid of them. If I'm truthful, the cows are worth, you know, x a bit mercenary, but we could go and buy some efforts if we wanted to. Yeah. Keep the younger, you know, younger we ones. You know, try and buy uh, a dozen stabilizer efforts. And then we'd have a lot of efforts to carve next year. You know, yeah. there'd be 25, 27 peppers to carve. It's not uncommon for them not to have a calf every now and again is it it's not uncommon no, no, no. but no. say if they haven't had a calf for two years it, it's not oh, very no. good you it? went well you wouldn't bother mate for yeah. two two years you're sending so you look you'll look at most of that when you you'll look at all that information and see who's done what you know the younger ones you'd hope like 392 she's a youngster ain't she she should be well if she if, Second cowboys, I've had it plenty of times that they'd have a calf as a heifer and we have a job and get a second cow because the calf drags a heifer down somewhere. Mm -hmm. And what you also find, and of course you don't ride it down, I've seen plenty of calves because the heifers are stupid, they'll let two or three calves suffer. So yes. actually, then it just makes matters even worse for her. Yeah. But it's because they are a bit inexperienced and they'll let any calf suffer. And I've seen that plenty of times. Beautiful, eh, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> more knowledge was yesterday. <laughs> Obviously all the, the tram stops the mud coming through the stone. Yeah. Let the dirt, let the water soak back through. We'll let the water soak through it. Yeah, but what happens next from here? Darren's obviously digging off the, the mud. We'll get as much now in here as we can. That's the barn, that's where he's come to. So that edge there where that peg is, yeah. is the edge of the barn, yeah. right? And uh, well, he's got one outside as well, look. Yeah. Uh, somewhere, I can't see it exactly, but we're behind his track. And you'll build up with stone? Yeah. And then we'll, the stone's critical, so we, we want the stone level now. Yeah. So what we do is, we'll we get as much in as we can. Yeah. With a teleporter. Some, let's get it somewhere like level. But then once we can tip on it, we can tip a load of stone, then I can start playing about with the machine. I can get it, I can get it level with the machine now. Yeah. And then what happens after that? You've got a nice level stone base at the height you want. What yeah. happens then? Uh, digger post holes. He'll come and mark it out, digger post holes, get them concreted. Yeah. And we'll put the, we'll put the barn up off of this stone. What, the finish we get on the stone yeah. will be where we go with the base. Yeah. Uh, the, so the, he, he's allowed 300 below finished floor level yeah on the post right so our, our post will come with those six inches and then we'll be six inches down the stone if that makes sense yeah our concrete will come six inches to the top of the stone yeah and that's why we're putting the stone in relatively yeah well it will be level it'll be pretty good it'll yeah. be dead accurate and also if you've got it pretty accurate with your stone you can ride about with machines and keep everything yes. level yeah. Everything's straight. And we're stoning our way in so we keep everything clean. That's, what, that's it. That's the idea. Yeah. Isn't it? <clears throat> Apart from that one. <laughs> well, That'll drop off. Pull that up so Dave can get out of that gate. Yeah. You can see it's dry. Look at the dirt. It's dry, isn't it? You can see it, Dave, can't you? You come out of here, it's now getting dry again. The spy's what you move with that, isn't it? Save the digger moving it three that times. Gary, you've got to shift it. Is, uh, that's a forever job. Even yeah. if you think Dave ain't doing much. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a forever job. Yeah. Dave's out there with his staff. Just uh, we've got a laser. Where's the laser? There's a laser set up. Here it is. So the laser set up there level. Take a level off uh, what we've already dug. So it wants to be level all the way through. And then uh, what we'll do then is get a level for our stone on top. Make sure that's level. Farmer will mess about with that uh, into next week. Uh, but we want to have all this stone in if we can while we're not too busy so 
Yeah, Darren's on the dig, yeah, moving the dirt. All the dirt at the back will get moved another day. That won't be a problem. It's all beautiful topsoil. We'll use that a million places for that. Uh, the tractor's a bit mucky, but that, there's no point looking at that. It's just to uh, move the dirt back. Save Darren moving it two or three times with the digger. So. We, uh, you know, it's the weekend, so we thought we're just going to go start cracking all this stuff. We never started, we'll never start it, so we're waiting around for the weather anyway, so we might as well be doing something useful. The stone here, so this big stone pile, I imagine most of that will be used on this project, so, you know, that's going to clear our big stone heap up as well. Uh, farmer comes up, he loads the trailer with stone, I'll go and tip it, we'll get a couple of loads there ready, and then he'll go and push it with the teleander. And then once we've got enough stone in, we'll start levelling with the digger. It's what we wanted for our stone heap, you know, that's why we got it all cleaned and, and nice. And it's um, it's perfect stone, actually, it's really nice. This isn't going to be a, a shed building tutorial or anything like that. Uh, a professional will come and dig and mark the holes and set the posts up so the posts are right. And I think, we're, you know, most of it we're going to do ourselves, apart from the roof, we're going to do most of it and it's going to be an ongoing project you know it's not going to be a finished project at the end but it's going to be a place to store things and put tractors and uh in the end it will be a clean uh, wet grain shed as well you know we'll concrete the floor uh but i don't think it's all being done in one go because it's very expensive obviously but um you know we're making a start and that's the main thing Open the door. I love this tractor with the joystick. Pull it back to go up with the trailer. Press it left to go with the doors. Tip her all out. We'll try and get a pile here and then another pile here. I think that's it for that one. Put her into float, she'll come down on her own. The weight of the trailer pushes the oil back through the rams and brings it down. Two wagons going. All right, you good? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You've been down the hairdressers roll. Where's it all gone? I thought you were growing it. You said you were growing a ponytail. <laughs> I'll leave that for the summer. Oh right. What about a mullet? Everyone likes those. It's too late now anyway. Uh, isn't it? Flat, too late now. Just feeding up. It's Monday morning. I think it's still a little bit wet out there for fertilizing today, but farmer's hoping, I think he's gonna send Keithy around to go and check what's going on out in the fields. It was certainly too wet yesterday. But uh, Linda needs loading, so we will load Linda. Me and Robert, I think we've got a load of hay on today, so... Thing after he's had his 
breakfast and just go and do Kelberg House. Yeah. Cassie Lloyd wants some. Yeah. Um, Cassie Lloyd, Hazel Offord and Vinka. So if you and Rob can do those then and me and, me and uh, yeah. Keith can go and do the rest. Where's your helper? What little helper? Hazel. <laughs> See? Kids. Ruining everything, don't I? stay at home, Dad. Yeah. That would work. <laughs> Got a few more sto loads of stone chip last night, so we're pretty chuffed with that. And farmer bought a new bull. I didn't. I don't know if I told you that, but he bought a new stabilizer. Yes. So a new stabilizer bull coming to the farm, and we are going to look at Ricky's records because we haven't seen very many limousine calves out of him. Or we're thinking he might be a bit short on calves. So we're going to look at his records and see what he's doing because he might need replacing as well. But we'll see, you know, we'll... The, uh, the new stabiliser is going to be a backup for that, um, for that Charolais, just in case, you know, his leg starts playing him up properly. Told you about these flakes before, just magnesium flakes. Just to top the cows up with magnesium when calves are dragging them down. Uh, it's the same sort of stuff. You can't control it when they're outside in the group, so we have to give them licks with it in. All right, baby. There's a cow in here with a bad eye. We've got to do that. And Colin is coming tomorrow to dehorn some of the calves. <laughs> oh, and a kiss. <laughs> yeah. Good man. She jumped up, let him suck. Ideal. That, that should be Angus calf, is that right? Well, I don't know if Angus or, 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 what, or what we decided we put on there. Uh, yeah, I think it's Angus Hall um, stabiliser. Oh, yeah. Yeah, couldn't it? I can't remember. Was it was Ricky one, it went down there. Yeah, so it could be a Cherylee. Uh, 40 limb. 4 mark. 40 four mark. I think it's a limb. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Oh, Jesus. There he go. That'll fix her up. Yeah. That'll fix her up good, that one, Rob. I got it. 
Nah, that's enough. I'm just going to pull this corner up. Bloody hell. We keep the hay covered and it stops it stops the sun changing the colour of it, stops the dust laying on the side of it and just gives it a longer life cycle uh, and it stops the wet getting on it uh, on the side of the barn as well. So we just tie it into the packs. Should have cut this string. There we go. The old man's <laughs> fiddling about in the yard. Yeah, the yard looks an absolute mess like this, but as soon as cows are out, we're digging this yard off and uh, the concrete's going down. So uh, we're not, you know, we're not too bothered by it. It's a bit rough and ready at the moment, but um, once we've got the concrete laid, it's going to be a nice job. Farmer's just working on the, um, the barn pad. Uh, getting that ready um, as soon as we've got the stone down on uh, level where we want it at the right level we can get the man here to mark out the post holes then we'll get those dug we'll get the concrete in for those and the man will come and set the posts up and uh, that'll start taking shape but uh, we're on hay today and we've got a lot of field work to do so these jobs are just going to be all over the place you know just as we get to them um, yeah we're going to help Linda with hay because Hazel's not here so we're going to help Linda with hay today She's got a lot on today, so... Are you off to get some straw? No, Lynn's, that's Lynn's one. We're just waiting for the truck. <laughs> We're going to go and find a tank for down there. On the end of them caves. Everyone over here, is there? All right, I'll have a look. Hey? You, you carry it back and join me get that? Uh, we've got to look at it and make sure it goes, so we'll, uh, we'll just have a look. Yeah, alright. He's finished his heap down the bottom here. We've got a few outline bales across at the other heap where we started. There's a, it's a right muddy mess, so we've been, we've been waiting for it to dry up, but I think we're going to have to just go out there and grab them and he's on the last stack across the road there started that so yeah these guys will be going out you know uh the stores especially if that dried up if that was dry now we could bolus them get them ready fly tags and send them out but i think farmer wants the man to come look at them see if there's any worth see see if there's any in there worth selling or not but uh we yeah we're just going to let the man come farmer reckons they're a bit small to go but we'll see um, but yeah after that you know come may first group over there once once ground's dry enough they, they we can start putting them out <laughs> Biggest ones, isn't it? Come on, little one. Come on. Come on, little one. Only a dinky thing, this one.
Have a feel, have a feel, so you know. Oh, there you go. That's all right. Be good when she takes over. Why don't we can all jump in there? He's only young, so he might only have little ones, you know. Doing the old sit down trick. What? Come on, boy. Come on. Go on, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What else is that adrenocane good for then, Carl? Use your friend for Is it good for numbing your fingers? And yours. <laughs> and your arm. <laughs> okay. I can't. He's just dribbling. Because he's all numb like he's been at the deli. I just thought he'd had a stroke. <laughs> I want to see the welly dance, I'm waiting for it. This is a beautiful thing, this one. Have a look then. Do the colour of this, right? Yeah. This one's got horns. I'm going to bag your bag up. I've got a bag up. No, I think there's some bags in there. How much do you want? Turn or half turn? What have you got? Oh, now what do you want? We lost some bags in there. We had oats here the other day. Got horns this one. <laughs> oh. No, not many. No. Oh, great. You plan that. Jesus. I love that smell. Not many with, with the horns again. Uh, even some of the young ones actually did have horns, so Cole just done them now, so they're, all, uh, they're pretty much all good to go. I don't think we'll run them through again, you know, so I don't think it'll be worth it. But uh, we'll let the calves out with mums now. Then we'll come back later on with the ones that we did do. The mum's going to start licking their heads, so we just check and make sure there's no bleeding later on. We'll check back in about an hour's time. We'll get all this stuff out, litter up. Good job. These here are, uh, I think they could just call terror tyres. They're the biggest tyres we got. They fit the old 70 and uh, we're fed up and waiting for the weather now. So we're going to stick them on the old 70. And farmer's got some ideas about casting seed on. So uh, we're going to fit them to the 70 once again. They're a bit cracked. You know, we fully expect them to go bang. Yeah, we didn't think we'd use them again, but it looks like they're coming out of retirement. <laughs> Boston Garage Equipment. It's a good one, this one. Farmer spent, farmer went all out on it, and we love it. Changed the way we do toys. <laughs> Why don't you read that, Keith? <laughs> 
I thought it looked like. Hey, I wasn't 100%, but I thought it's what it looked like. Okay, now I want to get closer, can't we? Well, you told him that before. I'm waiting for the... No, I haven't. Well, we have to practice this in this one. Go on, Albert. Go on. Go on, Albert. Go on, Albert. Oops! 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 Right, you know the old one, you're right. That's how you like them, innit, Rob? Nice and wide. Big. I'm, I'm curious here. Uh huh? Boy, actually. Don't be looking at that. Up to the outside? Yeah. <laughs> 325. Yeah? 3 meters 25. You can't, you can't go down the road rushing with them, you've got to get out of the way. On that, on the top shelf, mate, there's a white, a white uh, tin with real studs written on it. Just get me a nut, would you? Yeah. There we go. Terror ties are on. We're going to leave it there because that's going to be getting on for the end of the day. But uh, we'll talk about this on the next video. But so we're going to use it. We're hoping we're tempting fate by making it dry up is what we're hoping but you know we might use it for harrows we might you know there's plenty of uses rolls harrows uh we might put more skin on it um there's a million uses for that tractor so we'll uh yeah there we go but anyway thank you very much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and we'll uh we'll catch you next time cheers all good aren't they only one in there with it's good that's our little uh, youngest one oh yeah there's his mum <laughs> happy yeah, that's what I've seen. that'll do we can go home <laughs>